Well, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to uh, all of those who have joined us today to this very special webinar where, we, where you can learn and discover how Dubai's leading free zone can become your gateway to growth and expansion. My name is Mark Angus. I am the CEO of Genesis Global Business Services and Knowledge Executive. And we have a, truly a global webinar today uh, with participants from all over the world, representing countries such as Albania, Australia, Bahrain, Belgium, Canada, Egypt, Italy, the Republic of Korea, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Romania, Rwanda, South Africa, Turkey, the United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, and of course, the United States of America. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining us today. We wanna to keep this webinar interactive, so please, as we run the webinar, you can start posting your questions into the Q&A and chat channels, and we will get to them during the Q&A session towards the end of the webinar. Joining me today is Navid Noor Ahmed, the Executive of Outreach and Demand Generation, Marketing and Corporate Communications at DAVSA. Welcome, Navid. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for having us. Pleasure, thank you. To our audience today, Dubai Airport Free Zone is a dynamic business hub located at the very heart of global trade benefiting from direct access to the world's busiest international airport. DAVSA offers the ideal gateway to the Middle East and also unrivaled connectivity to Europe and the Indian subcontinent and the Far East. But before we hear from Naveed with regards to DAVSA's exciting value proposition for would-be investors, I'm going to introduce Thomas Bruns, who is the Regional Senior Commercial Officer for the Gulf for the US Department of Commerce and is based in the UAE. So I'm just going to patch him through. Thank you, Mark. On behalf of the US Commercial Service in the UAE, I very much appreciate the opportunity to be part of this webinar organized by the Dubai Airport Free Zone. Uh, Naveed, thank you for all that you and the DAFSA team do to drive growth and create jobs in both countries. To U.S. and North American companies, welcome to this webinar. I want to start by recognizing the uncertain times uh, we live in due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a time of crisis worldwide, and everyone is looking for opportunities due to this unpredictability. I am glad you are taking your precious time today to join us for this webinar. The relationship between the U.S. and the UAE is deep, broad, and strong, and built on decades of trust and cooperation. Our open channels of communication have led to advances in many sectors, including defense and security, trade and commerce, culture, and education. And these opportunities will only grow over time as the UAE moves aggressively into a, a knowledge-based uh, economy. The U.S. and the UAE uh, stand together to address some of the greatest challenges of our time. And our current ambassador, uh, John Recolta Jr., a former businessman, is intent on creating stronger ties in the commercial and economic field which will drive our companies and our governments closer together. The U.S. and the UAE are essential business partners already today. The UAE is the top export market for U.S. companies and has been for 11 years in a row. The UAE is the top investor from the Arab world into the United States. And there are 1,500 U.S. companies based right here in the UAE. And those companies do business here, but they also do business in the Gulf and the wider region from here. The U.S. and the UAE also have very strong cultural ties and connections. The Emiratis choose the U.S. as a top destination for education, for tourism, and for investment. A great example of this is our participation in Expo 2020. Through our USA Pavilion, this will be a physical testament to the strength of these strong ties. As the UAE approaches its 50th anniversary, and we look forward 
to more bilateral growth and success, we look to the next 50 years to do even better. Our U.S. commercial service team here is ready to support you in the UAE and the broader region through our offices uh, throughout the Gulf. And I want to thank you for joining us here for this webinar and providing some introductory remarks. It's my pleasure to now turn the webinar back to Mark and Navid. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, Thomas, for that inspirational welcome. We have another important partner of DAVSA today in the form of Kara Nazari, Managing Director of the American Chamber of Commerce in Dubai. Kara, welcome, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much, Mark, and thank you, Navid, for asking me to participate in this event. Um, DAFSA, I should, state, I should start by saying that DAFSA is a, one of our strongest partners in the UAE, and we are always anxious to support their initiatives as they work closely with us to support ours. Um, many of you know what an AMCHAM does and are not surprised to find us here. We're part of the global network of American Chambers of Commerce dotted throughout the world. We here in Dubai have an interesting and somewhat unique opportunity to share with our membership the experience of being part of an organization that is doing business in the UAE, but also, as Thomas rightly said, beyond the borders of the UAE. Dubai is a great jumping off point for many entities. Most of our members are doing a large portion of their business beyond the borders of the UAE, down into Africa, India, Turkey, across the Gulf. So there is a lot of business to be done. There's a lot, it's a great place to be situated when you're looking at doing business across many areas out here in the Middle East. So Dubai is unique in that it is easy to do business here. I have in previous roles done business across the region um, <laughs> and it's not always as easy as it is in Dubai. So it ranks really high in the, um, you know, doing business in the Arab world, in global competitiveness. It is a friendly city and it is the most influential city in the region. Many places try and um, emulate the success that Dubai has had and they, they come close, but, but we're always cutting edge a step ahead. Um, as Thomas said, there are 1,500 American firms operating in the UAE, and many of those are our members. They range from multinational brands to small to medium enterprises to consultants. There are, if you need something here in the UAE, there is generally an American representation of, of what you might need. So think about when you when you think about a small town America, that exists within the Dubai community and framework. There are schools for your children. The community is engaged. I think DAFSA is our number one supporter of 4th of July celebrations and, and network building, actually. So uh, those are two of the big things that they help us with a great deal. And what that really does is solidify the community and make everybody feel uh, that there's no strangers in the UAE. It's very diverse, it's very multicultural, and you get to celebrate so many things. And I am pleased that when we look at a partnership for celebrating American traditions, that we are engaged with an Emirati entity to do that, because that, to me, is what one of the key deliverables that AmCham can do, right? Bridge building, community, community building and bridge building. So... There's no secret that trading is, Dubai is originally founded as a trading hub and 30% of the GP, GDP is still based on trading. Um, it is, trade is the biggest contributor to Dubai's GDP. What do we trade in? We trade in almost everything. <laughs> um, you know, logistics is huge here as, as evidenced by the free zone at, at DAFSA. Um, communications is big, real estate is big, finance is big, construction, tourism, and generally just um, uh, healthcare and insurance is also big here in the UAE. The society that we live in is inclusive and cohesive. 
It is a um, preferred place for living and working. And part of the reason for that is because the government here is so supportive. So in response to COVID, AmCham went to the government and said, how can we facilitate business continuity and, re and remaining business ready for our members? We, we, we are going to come out of this and when we do, we need to be business ready. The government's response was wholehearted across the UAE and an outright endorsement to say, listen, give us your feedback, tell us what you need because you know, the playbook, of course, for all of us has sort of been thrown out the window at, with COVID. So we have had to go to industry and say, okay, where are the impediments to doing business and how can we resolve them? And we have been working very closely with the government throughout this whole entire process to ensure that they know where the problems are and what industry believes could impact on them in a positive way. We, we do believe that we will come, there will be innovation that comes from COVID. Um, sustainability is going to be a key driver of things going forward, of course. And we believe that also the digital economy and doing things online and electronically will become very, very important. Um, it has has already become the key mode for us to do business by evidenced as in this, in this webinar today. I will say finally, just leading uh, you know, to a close that Dubai's airport is second to none and home to Dafsa actually. So uh, if you wanna move something in and out of the region, there's a ton of things that go through there, quite literally. Um, and it is a very busy place, traditionally, a little quiet these days, but we are ticking back over and starting to see those planes take off and land on a regular basis again. And Dubai is well positioned to support your engagement in the region and, and well beyond that, down into Africa and you know so many places, actually. Um, so that's it. AmCham is here to support and anything that we can do to answer questions, we're happy to do that. Our work streams come from our members and so they changed uh, and they have recently changed and we are engaged on the ground and here to support anyone looking to do business here in the UAE. So we look forward to welcoming you and thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Nabeed. Thank you, Cara. Thank you very much. We look forward to working with you as well and thank you for those insights that you that you provided on uh, Dubai. We look forward to receiving more of those from Naveed. Uh, what are the crossroads opportunities that DAVSA offers? What can DAVSA offer you as a gateway to the world's fastest growing economies? Um, but before we hear from Naveed, we're going to play a, a video introduction um, into, into uh, DAVSA, and I'm going to share that video now with you all. At Dubai Airport Free Zone, your business is placed in the epicenter of trade in Dubai, a crossroads of unlimited opportunities. Located next to the international airport, DAFSA offers you the most efficient gateway to the world's fastest growing economies. DAFSA is Dubai's best equipped free zone, servicing worldwide trade as per international standard compliances and state-of-the-art solutions. Our business-friendly ecosystem serves more than 1,600 registered companies from around the globe, all of whom benefit from tax exemptions, full repatriation of earnings, complete ownership, world-class infrastructure, extensive cargo handling facilities, and a dedicated logistics center. DAFSA's strategic location offers your business unmatched connectivity to Dubai International Airport, Dubai Ports, Metro, and other transport links, with every business hotspot just minutes away. Our highly flexible and cost-effective service packages are tailored to your exact business requirements. Join the DAFSA business community remotely in just three steps. Step one. Choose your business license. We offer multiple license options and over 2,000 different business activities. Step two, choose your company type as a free zone company or a branch office. 
Step three, choose your space. Our fully customized packages are designed to perfectly match your business needs. Standard lease, premium and premium plus, smart offices, light industrial units, retail space. DAFSA's e-services have revolutionized the starting, operating, and expanding processes for your business, adding momentum and convenience. Our client portal is always there to assist you in applying and in managing your company and employee services online at all times. DAFSA, where businesses are free to grow. Fantastic video. And with the stage set, I will now hand over to Naveed who will take us through a great presentation and demonstrate why over 350 multinationals and 100 Fortune 500 companies have chosen to establish themselves in the Dubai Airport Free Zone. Naveed, um, over to you. Um, thank you so much, Mark. Uh, hello, good morning, good evening, wherever and whichever part of the world you are in. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I would like to thank Mr. Thomas Burns and Ms. Kara Nazari for their introductory remarks and supporting our efforts to help American businesses grow and expand in the region and beyond. So first, uh, we would like to talk about why the why. Uh, we would be looking at we would be looking at Dubai, which has very rapidly grown into a premier leisure and business destination, becoming the world-breaking and innovative city it is today. Truly, the crossroads of opportunity. Dubai has posi positioned itself as the future, uh, as the city of the future, as it deploys technologies of the fourth industrial revolution to enhance stakeholder happiness. At the same time, the, Dubai remains an effective gateway to the region's emerging markets, while its advanced logistic infrastructure positions it as a great hub for trade and investment. These include market access to a 2.4 billion consumer market within five hours flight radius and exceptional connectivity with over 7,000 weekly flights by 140 airlines directly connects Dubai to 260 destinations. As Kara rightly mentioned, Dubai airport is one of the busiest airport in the world. Definitely a, a diverse multinational population comprising of 80% expatriates. This has led to everyone from F F FTSE hundreds to innovative startups looking to capitalize on Dubai's strategic, strategic positioning as a gateway to the economies across Middle East, Africa, and South Asia. A region with a projected combined GDP of over $12.8 trillion by 2030. Due to its continually evolving, mature and business enabling regulatory and legislative policy ecosystem, the UAE has maintained its position as the leading country in the Arab world in ease of doing business. According to the World Bank's latest ranking, Dubai was also ranked 12th in the 2019 Global Financial Centers Index rated as being the most prepared for change in the MENA region and the third most prepared globally, according to the KPMG Change Readiness Index, the country has also led the region in competitiveness and climbed to the 27th place worldwide on the World Economic Forum's Global competitive, uh, uh, Competitiveness Report. In addition to this, um, high-tech infrastructure, execution of smart initiatives, the Gulf State Smart Cities Index report by Navigant ranks Dubai as the Middle East's leading smart city. These are just some highlights of UAE's and Dubai's proven track record. The preferred place to live, work, and visit, with over 200 nationalities calling this city their home, Dubai provides a wealth of talent for businesses. UAE is among the global leader when it comes to attracting talent as a result of impressive levels of both external and internal openness. 
UAE is one of the top economies that have a clear focus on becoming talent hubs. With 86.4 million passengers uh, coming to Dubai's busiest airport, the Dubai International Airport, um, it has been ranked the sixth uh, busiest airport um, in the year running. Dubai welcomed 16.7 million international guests in 2019, up from 15.9 million the year before. We would now look at DAVSA, Dubai Airport Free Zone Authority. DAVSA was established in the year 1996 as part of Dubai government's strategic plan to be an investment driven economy. And today it's one of the fastest growing free zones in the region with over 190,000 square meter of office spaces in 15 buildings and 290 warehouses. DAVSA offers integrated business solutions to the global business community. Many benefits of joining the DAVSA business community includes investor incentives such as 100% foreign ownership, 100% corporate and tax exemptions, repatriation of profits and capitals, no currency restrictions, no employment restrictions, all of these making DAVSA one of the most attractive economic growth opportunities in the world. Everything we do at DAVSA is to contribute to the economy of UAE. At DAVSA, we go above and beyond to achieve this vision. And we have been really successful so far in doing so, as well as, as, as the record states here on this slide. DAVSA contributed 164 billion dirham to Dubai's foreign trade in 2019, which is 12% of Dubai's total foreign trade, recording a growth of 11% on year-to-year -year basis. Along with that, there was a trade surplus of 19.4 billion dirhams recorded. Re-exports grew by 10.2%, with the highest contribution of 54% from the trade sector, the HS-based category, machine, uh, machinery sound recorders, TV and electrical equipments valued at 42 billion dirhams. Now we have been able to achieve this with the trust that our customers have put in Dubai and DAVSA. Business and DAVSA have shown devotion and demonstrating business acumen to achieve these incredible results. In terms of countries that companies based in DAVSA trade with, India was the biggest trade partner with 18.3% of trade conducted with India valued at 30 billion dirhams followed closely by China at 17.3% and valued at 28.4 billion dirhams. While Switzerland being the third highest trade partner at 16.3% and valued at 26.8 billion dirham. In terms of our value proposition, it revolves around our strong position as a premium free zone providing seamless experience to businesses for operating in this new to market region for them. We are premium yet value for money. Pricing attracts firms with excellent financial standing, best in class offices and warehouses with all required turnkey furnishing and fixtures give client the best value for money. Office prices are all inclusive and are designed best to suit MNCs and SMEs requirements as well. In terms of our clientele, DAVSA hosts more than 100 of the Fortune 500 companies, over 500, 500 multinational companies, and an exceptional 33% of our clients staying with us for more than 15 years. This attracts like-minded companies for proximity to suppliers and avail benefits with other value chain elements. Now, we are a free zone operator for almost 25 years now. Dubai has the expert, DAVSA has the expertise, capabilities, uh, and experience in managing and providing services to a diverse clientele coming from all parts of the world. Our staffs are fully equipped to know how to best delight customers and be responsive to new prospects, needs, and wants, always looking at ways to shorten processes, especially for the time-sensitive product categories. Our staff are professional, easily accessible, all the way to the top. 
Now we are located strategically next to the Dubai International Airport. Davza provides extensive cargo handling facilities with a direct de dedicated um, a center for cargo handling and easy access through highway to all se seven Emirates in the UAE. Davza looks after all the customer red tape so they, they can quickly set up and concentrate on what they do best, which is to grow their business. With our extensive facilities, our clients are always free to grow. From office spaces to warehouses and land plots, Davza has it all. Moreover, Davza provides all amenities for all its clients and their employees. From an open door policy with the management, unique land air positioning, dedicated 24 hour logistics services, facilities conveniently located within a horseshoe shaped compound to speed up your business operations, for ex and including banking, telecom, shopping, security cameras, so have you. So everything that you need is provided within this free zone. Also, we are a one-stop shop. We are the regulators in this case, where we issue the licenses. We manage the, we are the landlords of the buildings as, as such, and we are the services and facilities provider as well. In terms of transportation infrastructure, Davza runs its own bus to Metro service, while there is public transport for all passenger terminals and across the city as well. With the introduction of 5% VAT in UAE in, in the year 2018, uh, some free zones were declared VAT exempted zones or designated zones. Davza is one of them for which provisions of VAT are applicable. Being based out of a VAT exempted zone means you do not have to pay or deposit 5% VAT or customs duty at the time goods arrive in the designated zone, which is the buyer per free zone in this case. If re-exported, duties and taxes at the de destination would be applied, hence making it very efficient and providing financial and cash liquidity required to conduct your business seamlessly. Now, when, you're, when, when companies are looking at um, expanding into new markets, there are three business models they, they can adopt. Uh, model A repre represents reaching global clients from a single manufacturing or a warehousing facility. Model B perfectly describes having a base or a fulfillment center in the region to be able to serve the market faster and in a cost efficient manner. While in model C, companies would have investment in all markets and having facilities and employees in each market, which could be very uh, investment in, uh, intensive. Model B, which, which is what Davs uh, would, would support you with, answers the needs of customers through shorter delivery times, reliability, closer paths to consumers and the market, avoidance of double duty and lower setup costs. Davza being a multi-sectorial free zone proudly hosts over 1,600 regional and global companies across a variety of industries with the highest from ICT and electronics at 28%, 10% from consumer products, eight from freight, logistics, aerospace, and related services, 9% from investment, business development, engineering, and building materials, 7% from food and beverages, 5% from medical equipment and pharmaceutical. And within these different industries, Davza hosts the biggest companies in each sector. This client roster is really unique to Davza, from Airbus to Boeing in the aviation sector to Thales and Sandex in ICT, Audi, Volkswagen, Toyota in automotive, Hershey's and Heinz in food and beverages, Chanel and Estee Lauder in cosmetics, Davza hosts top brands from each sector and industry. And if you look at the American companies based out of Davza, these are some of the biggest American companies that are, that are in Davza and are part of Davza's business community. Davza offers a wide range of business setup and administrative services to both new and existing clients. Our range of tailored services aims to make your day-to-day -day business operations 
smoother and easier than ever before. While you focus on your efforts on growing your business and do what you're best at. Our one-stop shop concept within Davza includes all of the necessary government departments and private entities you'll need to, you'll need to set up and run your company, as well as a dedicated government services that host 24 by seven customer service center, immigration department, along with banks, telecommunication companies, and other service providers that, that are right at your company's doorstep. Our experts will assist you at every stage of the business setup process. This includes determining your business type, legal consultation and regulation compliance, acquiring your business license and visas, leasing your premises and interior design services. These are the steps to become part of Davza's business community in just three easy steps. And we'll run through them with, uh, one by one uh, in the slides to come. First, you choose the type of license you would require based on the operations you would like to establish. A trading license allows you to the holder to carry out trading activities, uh, import, export, re-export, distribution and storage of specific products. Service license, this license is suitable for service oriented businesses. It enables entities to provide the services specified, specified by their license. Industrial license, the, the, this allows holder to undertake light manufacturing activities and packaging and assembling. E-commerce license with this type of license, holders are entitled to trade uh, in goods and services online. General trading license, this license allows the holder to trade in general activities, including import, export, re-export, storage and distribution. <clears throat> just just to, uh, to uh, clarify, in the trade license, you would be trading in a specific set or of activities or industry sectors. In a general trading license, you can deal in all categories and in all sectors. Apart from the conventional trading service, industrial and general trading license, Davza also introduced the e-commerce activity within our licensing portfolio to help businesses capitalize on the opportunity in the booming e-commerce sector in the region. We also made it possible for companies to expand or consolidate their operations in the region by offering dual license. Now a dual license, so for, for a dual license, Davza signed an agreement with Dubai Economic Department that allows companies based in Davza to in, acquire an onshore license while operating or having a facility or a base in Davza. This license allows Davza registered companies to apply for a DED license without the need for a physical office space in the mainland. Businesses possessing list, this license can operate out in the mainland as well. In terms of the type of company you could set up, uh, the first one is the free zone company with one to 50 shareholders and the minimum share capital requirement is only $272. While you could establish a representative office or a branch of an existing for foreign company without any requirements for share capital. The third is choosing the facility you would like to run uh, your businesses in, in this region. So we offer ready to move in spaces or can create your own company environment via our fit out service. Uh, properties have magnificent, magnificent views, for instance, of the Dubai Inter International Airport runway and a variety of floor plans provide a layout that suits your needs. Here we have shared some indicative prices. Now we have some office packages which are plug and play in nature. These include all necessary facilities and services required for a business for a seamless and hassle-free experience. This include license, registration, insurance. Uh, these packages are, packages are fully furnished offices equipped with IT services, uh, daily housekeeping services and parking. And within these packages, the beginner's package is a smart desk package. The cost 
um, here is inclusive of the registration license and your lease for a desk space while you're entitled to have one visa part of this package one employment or resident visa some other packages that we offer are business offices that are from 12 to 15 square meters and entitlement of two employment or resident visas while premium packages are uh, spaces of 25 square meters with entitlement of two visas again. We have the premium plus package that is 50 square meter of office space with an entitlement of six employment visas. We have high quality thermally insulated purpose built units which can be utilized either as a warehouse for storage and distribution or as a space for assembly and light production. Each unit is approximately 350 square meters. It features ground floor and a mezzanine floor as well with, with provi provision for offices, for, for office spaces. We also launched the new Davza industrial zone which is strategically located in close proximity to Davza's existing facilities near Dubai International Airport, means this is the exact space for high growth businesses that are looking uh, for. Also with a bonded warehouse located within the industrial zone, it will allow companies to have more control over their inventory throughout the cargo handling process. Davza is constantly growing its portfolio of services and expansion into infrastructure to meet the demands of our customers base. Davza launched its Islamic uh, economy strategy. So we are a free zone that goes beyond uh, a normal free zone. And hence we launched this Islamic economy strategy that will help attract more foreign direct investments to the sector and support the vision for Dubai to become the capital of Islamic economy. It consists of three main directions and 20 strategic initiatives that will be implemented within the coming five years. These are envisioned to help make the Islamic economy more added value and competitive advantage to Davza. With that, we, we launched the Halal Guidebook, uh, which is a comprehensive guidebook aimed at both local and international companies to use as a practical guide to Dubai's halal Islamic economy, including the Emirates halal ecosystem, opportunities in the halal trading and halal certification and compliance process. We have also launched something called a Halal Trade and Marketing Center, which aims at enabling companies to capitalize on the opportunities around halal economy. The center provides three key service areas, market intelligence, intelligence that helps companies gather accurate facts and data to make informed decisions, data compliance by providing advisory services and connecting to stakeholders in the halal ecosystem on certification and compliance. Growth support services, connecting companies with global and local distributors and wholesalers of halal products while also enabling access to Sharia compliant finance. With this, I would like to thank you all for your time and give the floor back to Mark. So Mark. David, thank you so much. Appreciate that, that, that and the really great presentation that demonstrated Davis's compelling proposition. And to reinforce uh, the special relationship that uh, DABSA has with American companies in the fee zone, we are honored to play you uh, this video message from International SOS. International SOS is the world's largest medical and travel security services firm, which counts nearly two thirds of the Fortune 500 global companies as its clients and takes around 5 million assistance calls every year. International SOS began looking to invest and set up an office in Dubai in 2006. Uh, we looked at multiple locations and we found that Davza was the perfect site for us. Centrally located near the airport, um, great offices and a lot of space to grow. Over the years we've found that our decision was the right one to make. Uh, a lot of support from Davza as our business has grown. We started with two people, today we're over 200 here. 
We have continued to add uh, additional layers to our business, always finding that Davza has helped us grow into larger offices, um, working with our legal team to make sure our legal and compliance aspects of our business are proper, and also working with our HR team to make sure that we're properly onboarding and managing our employees here um, in Davza. Uh, I'd say overall the Dubai Airport Free Zone Authority has been a very great support for International SOS and if it were not for them we wouldn't have had the success we've had here. And here is another one from Abbott Laboratories. For those of you who are, don't know Abbott Laboratories, they are an American medical devices uh, and healthcare uh, company and their purpose is to make the world better by bringing life-changing health technologies to the public. So I'm going to play this message now from Abbott Laboratories. Uh, we've been uh, with Davza since 1998 when the company have decided to move to uh, Dubai and have an easy access to the market uh, worldwide and Davza were um, actually very happy to support and give all the uh, tools and uh, support to open our first regional office in uh, Arab country which was uh, Dubai, Dubai and United Arab Emirates. And uh, since then, we have a very close relation with Davza throughout the procedures and um, helping us with getting all the work done from office-wise to employees and uh, facilities. Right now, so we will open the webinar for questions and answers from the audience, and they have been flying in. A reminder to please post your questions into the Q&A chat channel um, or the, the general chat channel, uh, which the panelists are monitoring, and we will try and answer, answer them. So uh, we have a question here from uh, Xavier uh, Navid and uh, Gary, uh, who is also joining uh, Navid. Thank you. Welcome as well to, to Gary. Um, so I'm going to throw the questions to, to you both. And the first one is here from Xavier. And Xavier is from Romania. And he says, can you give me some idea about internet speeds? I have an IT company and would like to possibly house some servers and people there. Okay, thanks Mark and uh, thanks Xavier for the question. Uh, this is more of a technical question and I hope I can answer you. Uh, talking about internet speeds, I'm sure it must be uh, Dubai UAE is capable of uh, handling any kind of internet speeds because I, from what numbers I know of, I heard of speeds of going up to one Gbps and everything is here, optic fiber cables are in place, so the infrastructure is in place. If you see, we've got two big internet providers here, which is Etisalat and Du, which is owned by the government of Dubai itself. So I'm sure you could have your server set up here without a problem. Thank you, thank you very much. If I may add, <clears throat> sorry, if I may add, so uh, in terms of uh, UAE, uh, this is speedtest.net and uh, they have provided this data. So in terms of internet speed uh, on mobile, uh, Dubai is, UAE is ranked uh, the second uh, with a download speed of 107.53 Mbps and an upload of 25.74 and latency of 26 uh, ms. While in terms of fixed broadband, um, it's ranked 23rd, uh, download speed 117.36 Mbps, upload 60.80 Mbps, and latency of 10 ms. So just to uh, answer that question with facts. Navi, thank you very much. They're truly world class in terms of the, uh, the bandwidth and the speeds. Um, I'd like to ask another question from Xavier, who, who asked, asked about the world post-COVID. Now, we knew that this, this, this question was going to come up. Um, what uh, best practice initiatives have been put in place uh, with regards to the global uh, COVID uh, pandemic? And specifically, he'd also like to know uh, that with regards to uh, tax, so anything to do with tax and um, how DAVSA is addressing and any best practice initiatives that DAVSA has with regards to COVID-19. Sure. Okay, and with regards to COVID-19, DAVSA, the government itself has brought up many incentives and many, um, uh, uh, what do I say, benefits that clients that, uh, that could benefit out of this uh, setting up. 
Now in the free zone itself, we, uh, we have brought out many incentives for clients, for our existing clients who have, uh, we've given them some rent free periods, we've given them uh, incentives of paying, uh, making payments later, uh, delayed payments, so paying, uh, paying the rents in installments. So post COVID as we've, we've looked at, this is something new that for, for everybody, so we're just learning on a daily basis how to handle this. Uh, coming to the taxation part of it, taxes are the same. Others, if you what uh, my colleague Navid would have spoke about earlier, uh, as you know, in the UAE as such, there are no taxes. There's no income tax. There's no corporate tax. There's no sales tax. All we will be looking at is the VAT, the VAT which was introduced in 2018. So that's the only tax that UAE has right now currently, and there's no intentions of having any other taxes added on to this. So the VAT is of a five percent. And also, let me add on to that, in Dubai Airport Free Zone, we are a designated zone. So companies who are based in the free zone, uh, when doing uh, invoicing to outside the country, outside the UAE, or, to, or invoicing to another designated zone, you don't even charge the VAT. So your invoices come out with 0% VAT. So you get a benefit of the VAT also being in a designated zone. Yes, of course, if you're selling into the local market, into the UAE market, then you have to pay the, uh, you, then you have to charge your customers the 5% VAT. So taxes have been similar and there's no changes in the taxations and uh, there's no uh, plans of it being changed in future too. Thank you, Gary. Thank you very much. So we have another question that is coming here from Christine Wren. And um, thank you very much, Christine, for posting your, your question. Um, and we did hear from, from Cara in this regard as well, but it's basically uh, more about Davis's special relationship with American companies in the free zone. So she's asking, can you tell us more about that special relationship? What makes those relationships so special in addition to what we have heard today? Uh, uh, Gary, I'll, I'll take that question. So uh, thank you so yeah. much. This is a very important question. Again, uh, UAE and uh, US enjoy a very, um, strong relationship and uh, collaboration in so many aspects uh, from defense, business, trade, uh, even even uh, in terms of uh, taxation, there, there are a lot of um, uh, treaties and, and pacts that have uh, come into form. So uh, the American companies are, of course, because of uh, their innovation and their product knowledge. There are so many areas where American companies excel. That makes them strategic for not just uh, Dubai, but the region to have them here uh, to, to bring their services and their products to this region and cater to the growing needs of uh, growing companies and consumers. So in terms of the, the relationship, uh, this is very essential and hence, you know, the incentives uh, to attract them to, to um, have them in, in Dubai and use this as a destination to do business from while bringing as as Dubai as as uh, Tom, uh, 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 Thomas Burns also mentioned, uh, you know, we are moving towards a knowledge based economy. And uh, it is crucial when we do so to have the right partners and American companies are very significant in that area and which is why we uh, try to, you know, attract them to this region. I hope that that answers your question. Thank you, Naveed. And I'm glad that you mentioned the, the knowledge-based economy because we have a question from an, an anonymous attendee who has um, said, how is the DAVSA zone set up to handle global BPO operations? Is this a location that BPO can flourish? So, you know, what, you know for those that are interested in setting up, what is the value proposition that DAVSA can offer uh, BPO uh, companies? Definitely. So we have a lot of clients uh, who are doing BPO operations from our zone. Um, we have uh, MetLife. Uh, it's not typically BPO, but uh, they do. They have the back office within Davza for all their uh, insurance uh, needs, even for international SOS. As you as you saw, uh, they um, are taking their uh, international calls and everything from Davza's uh, facilities as well. So, in terms of BPO operations, I think these are two very relevant case studies that um, you know uh, show the significance of uh, DAVSA as a location where BPO can be established. Also in terms of talent, we saw in the, in the presentation, um, the, the availability of talent and, and you know, uh, there's so many things that 
that Davza can uh, that Dubai offers uh, in terms of uh, attraction of talent, uh, which which help BPO flourish as well. I hope I, I answered that question. Thank you, Navid. Very well. Thank you. Um, then we have another one from, uh, again, from Christine. Christine, thank you very much for posting your questions. Uh, they are flying in. Um, so she has asked here, if you were to sum up in three areas, what are DAVS's differentiators when compared to other global free zones or locations? So if you sum them up in three areas, three differentiators, what are those, those differentiators compared to other global free zones? Definitely. Um, so uh, the three, um, I'll, I'll say the first one is the strategic location being next to the world's busiest uh, international airport. Uh, the, the extensive cargo handling facilities that we have, which really enable uh, to reach out to a you know larger consumer base, as we saw uh, in the in the travel um, uh, related information, uh, the, uh, the 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 flight, uh, the destinations that are covered. So that really um, helps you know reach out to the entire um, region and beyond as well. So the the number one is of course the strategic location. Uh, the incent uh, the investment incentives, uh, the tax free nature of of the free zone. And uh, lastly, I would say the seamless experience. So uh, we take care of most of the, you know, bureaucratical work for, com for companies. So they don't have to rush from one government office to another. We are the gateway to government services. We uh, help with the, as we are a reg registrar, we have the, we as an authority have the authority to issue licenses. So uh, we, they don't have to, you know, run from one office to another, uh, even for immigration, we take care of their needs uh, in terms of immigration. So, and all of these different government stakeholders uh, that, that are essentially required to do business are based in Davza. So they don't have to go and run around and look for uh, these, these um, uh, services. They are all based within the free zone that helps enhance uh, their free zone experience and a seamless experience in a new market. Uh, and uh, Gary, uh, yeah, Gary, I hope that, that answers the question. Gary, would you like to add to that in any way? Or are you happy with that? Yeah, also I would like to add one more point. I mean, there, there are many more that we could add, but uh, one more I would like to add on to it is Dubai being a hub for uh, exhibitions. Now, companies who come from all over the world, they're world-class, world-renowned exhibitions that happen in Dubai. So the connectivity, the networking, the, the, the exposure that companies get within uh, attending these exhibitions is one, one big opportunity that you can look at uh, by having a base in Dubai. Yeah, so I just want to add exhibition that we have. We have exhibitions throughout the year, which, uh, which, which starts off uh, from the beginning of the year with Arab Health, with the Gulf Food, with Jitex, with the Big Five, which is the construction industries. Then we have the air, air show happening. Then we have Index, which is interior design shows. So there are many exhibitions, world-renowned exhibitions that happen here in Dubai, which could help you all grow your business or get connected to different uh, networks here in Dubai. So that's what I add on to that. Thank you very much, Gary. Thank you. Uh, we have another question that's come through anonymously, which is uh, from a participant who's asking about visa requirements. How, you know, how easy is it or you know, what is the process uh, in terms of uh, visa requirements for expats that are wanting to come into Dubai? Okay, visas, as Navid in one of his slides mentioned that the 80% of the population here are expats. Okay, so visas, everybody here comes on a resident visa. And these resident visas normally are a three-year visas. So as, as uh, we mentioned earlier, we are an authority wherein we give clients three, uh, three platforms. One is the license, we are license issuing authority where we issue a license for a company. We are the landlords, we own the properties here. It's managed and run by us as the free zone. And the third part is the visas. So all the visas that an, a company needs to get for their employees is done through us as the free zone. So basically you get a resident visa through the free zone. You don't need to run around to a different labor department, to the immigration, nothing. It's all done to a one-stop shop through us as the free zone. And the resident visa, as I mentioned, is a three years, renewable every three years. Uh, currently there are some other, um, uh, terms which have been introduced, which are they have the five-year visas and the 10 years visas, but generally it is a three-year visas that have been issued for residences. The ease of it is 
it's uh, you within uh, three days with the time frame if you look at it you get within three days you can get your visa done which includes your medical stamping everything together so easy it's quite easy and uh, yeah and it's open to all the nationalities that have been approved legally to enter the country Gary, thank you so much. Um, I think we're coming to the end of our Q&A session. We're almost on time. Uh, but there is just one more that I'd like to address from Conrad, Conrad Matala, who has asked, is it possible to get a PDF for the information handouts from the DAVSA free zone? So I'm sure that is possible, gentlemen. Can you, can you respond to that? Definitely post uh, this webinar, we will uh, share all the information uh, along with the recording for, for this session as well. Lovely, thank you very much, Navid, thank you. And Navid and Gary, thank you very much for answering those questions, very much appreciated, and for taking the time to do that today. For those participants who joined us today, we really thank you for giving us of your time. Uh, and as Navid mentioned, there'll be further information coming your way. We'll be sharing a recording of this webinar, as well as a copy of the presentation with you in the next few days. So look out for that in your inboxes. Please also do connect with Navid and Gary at DAVSA if you have any further queries or you would like to know more about Dubai's leading free zone and gateway to the Middle East and the value proposition that it offers. Thank uh, you. Mark, there's, there's yes. one additional question I can see. Uh, this is again from Christine. Uh, I would like to take this, this Absolutely. question. Absolutely. Please, uh, please, is that the one about having the relationship with residential real estate organizations? Absolutely. And uh, we do so because uh, we help. So the, the companies that are new to market, we help them uh, establish not just the business, but um, them as people as well. So we can certainly share those um, uh, contacts. Uh, these include uh, from um, uh, Amar to Damag to uh, Dubai Properties, whatever the re uh, preferred re uh, real estate partner is uh, in resident for residentials, we can uh, certainly accommodate that. So you know, uh, just to mention a few names, as as uh, you uh, as you asked, if so, home. So Dubai Properties, um, Amar, Damag, these are one of the largest uh, residential real estate companies in in UAE. Um, apart from that, you know, the private. Uh, ones as well. If, if, you, if there's anyone you would like us to connect you with, we can most certainly do so. Thank you, Naveed. Appreciate it. Thank you. So I'd also like to thank Thomas Bruins for his measures today from the US Department of uh, Commerce, Kara Nazari for joining us today from the American Chamber of Commerce in Dubai. Thank you, Kara. To the clients, uh, the messages that we receive from the clients from International SOS and Abbott Laboratories, Thank you for sending those through to us. And the, the team at FDI Business Diplomacy it takes a lot of work to put a webinar like this together. So I'd just like to thank the team at FDI Business Diplomacy, who's a partner of DAB, DABSA and who worked behind the scenes to make this webinar happen. Thank you to all, to all of you. But of course, also very special thanks to Naveed and Gary at DABSA. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone for attending and taking the time to join us today from all over the world, as if this was truly a global webinar. We would like to close today's proceedings and wish you well for the week ahead. Thank you, be safe and go well. Thank you, Mark, for, for hosting this. Thank you so much. Great pleasure. Thank, thank you, Mark.